Hello everyone, and welcome to my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team walkthrough. Now, um, since I did a Explorers of Sky walkthrough, why not do Blue Rescue Team? I really like, uh, this game. It was my first DS game, and, uh, all of that. So yeah, let's just start the adventure. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. Before I let you go through, I have several questions to ask of you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay, let the interview begin. Now, I'm just going to skip these question questions, really. Alright, looks like I'm the hardy type. Do my homework diligently and all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff's cool and everything. <coughs> So let's see, what Pokemon am I going to be? Oh cool, Charmander. Okay, that's that's epic right there. That's my favorite uh, starter. Alright, now um, since I have Charmander, um, you won't be able to choose any of the fire types. So um, I'm going with Totodile because I never used Totodile as a partner. And uh, I'm not going to nickname him Fang. Uh, uh, well, uh, a quarter. Um, Again, because I want to have something different, but uh, I am nicknaming him Bang because that just makes the most sense. So, uh, yeah, Bang the Totodile. <clears throat> yeah, so we're all set. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Sorry if you really can't see the words, but camera really doesn't like the dark. <laughs> um, wow. Where is this? Yeah, I'm a human. <laughs> now, as you look at that, it looks like uh, I turned into a Charmander. Uh, really, that's not that bad, because I like Charmander. <laughs> he evolves into my uh, favorite Pokemon for his final evolution. Anyway, my name in this game is going to be Rex. Uh, for the Tyrannosaurus Rex, because uh, T-Rexes are cool. Um, I'm going to be saving the name Dino for uh, later, and you should probably have a good idea what I'm going to use it for. A funny name. Wow, well, you fail then. So I might as well just leave right now, because you fail. <laughs> Shouting. What's the matter? It's horrible. Caterpie. A huge fisher. And crazy stuff. Isn't that just great? <clears throat> it looks like we're forced to help. Alright, this is the first dungeon you're going to be exploring. It's the Tiny Woods. Now, usually I'll probably like to speed up the dungeon and uh, add music in like I did with my Explorers of Sky walkthrough, but since this is the first dungeon and it's pretty quick, only like three floors, um, well technically four, but you get the point. Um, I'm just going to show myself exploring through this place. Now, I'm gonna go to my options and make it, uh, the speed fast, and then change the, the map to, like, a shaded map, so that way I can move faster. And as you can see, the map is shaded, just because I like that. So, I'm um, like, uh, yeah, we can explore this dungeon. Um, since this is your first dungeon, even though I'm right there near, near the steps, I recommend that you explore it thoroughly and battle whatever Pokemon that you need to battle. Uh, Pokemon that you can find in the Tiny Woods are Pidgey, Sunkern, Wormful, and Execute. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go up and I just saw a Pidgey, so, you know, let's battle that. Um, you should use, um, your attacking moves most of the time in dungeons rather than, uh, um, you know, the your normal attack, you know, by pressing A because you get more experience. Um, yeah. Just gonna move the camera right there. And I 
just grew level. The sun turned. Huh. <coughs> I accidentally used that growl right there, but uh, yeah, that lowers their attack, obviously. And Fang grew level. This is the last floor to explore. And like I said, you want to battle all the Pokemon that you can. Absorb. Huh. I mean, I'm trying to get to level 7, but I don't think I'm going to get there. Huh. Oh well. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's an Oran Berry. You'll heal 100 HP in this game, which is really cool. Um, but right now, you only have one item inventory, so you can only, like, carry one item with you. Which really stinks, to be honest. Uh, same thing goes for your partner. Uh, let's just battle this, uh, Wormple. And, uh, yeah. Execute. Ah, hypnosis. I really don't like that. Ah, uh, he made us both asleep. Come on. That's just cheap. Alright. Just checking my uh, experience how much do I have left to get to the next level. And uh, if you press A and B together, you can wait to like heal up your HP, but uh, most of the time, like one of the wild Pokemon in the dungeon will appear. And there's Caterpie. Yeah, we came to rescue you. Yeah, don't worry about it. Sorry if there was like a little cut over there, um, cut because, uh, I was interrupted. <laughs> He's just staring at us. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get the Orenberry, Petraberry, and Rostberry. Shall I live? What's this place? Huh. And apparently I'm like, uh, really happy to see this. Huh. And yeah, I guess that's because I'm a Charmander. <coughs> uh, this is the mailbox. We'll get mail, obviously. Natural disasters. Interesting. Nah, I'm not gonna form a team with you. You said that I have a funny name. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, well, you can't really refuse, so you have to form a team. Now, the team's name, this is what I was saving a dino for. Because it's obviously going to be Team Dino, of course. Uh, what else would it be? Yep, Team Dino. 
and uh, Rex and Fang, that's definitely more, like, dinosaur-oriented to me, at least. <laughs> so yeah, Team Dino. Yeah. And that is how Rex and Fang began their careers together as a rescue team. Thanks for watching.